and back to the workspace of AutoCAD Universe. Let us first declutter it by pressing Ctrl-0 on our keyboards. So, while pressing Ctrl, click on 0. And there you have a Zentype workspace. A clean, clutter-free environment. So refreshing without those cluttered hieroglyphs. By the way, Control zero combination toggles on or off the clean screen feature of AutoCAD by hiding most of the user interface, thus maximizing your drawing area. This comes in handy when you have a small monitor providing you a limited view. So let us try that once again. To unhide, click Control and then click zero. And to hide again, the uh, uh, some of the user interface click zero so just uh, leave the clean screen feature toggled on for the meantime so that we can look at some of the toolbars and features of the AutoCAD interface piece by piece or bit by bit just like in the uh, analysis phase of the design process where we scrutinize each part of the design problem and so in AutoCAD we shall focus only on the parts that we normally use starting at the upper part we have the application title bar where your current version is indicated so for me i'm using autodesk autocad 2017 and when you save your uh, drawing that you're currently working with uh, the file name is also indicated in the title bar now at the left corner we have the application button and once again if you click that it will open the application menu and it's where you can create new drawings, open existing drawing files from Autodesk, that DWG, or from other programs, DGN. Uh, these are created the uh, CAD drawings from the likes of Workstation and Bentley. And of course, you can always become a superhero by performing Ctrl S to quick save. And you can always save a copy of the drawing you are currently working to a different uh, file name different file type or different location so we can save it to a dwg file dwt file dws file and of course other formats and importantly we can also convert a uh, newer version of autocad to older versions but of course you need to download first the dwg TrueView software of Autodesk so that you can open a uh, newer version and then convert it to the version that you are currently using. You can also import uh, different formats from other programs into your drawing environment such as a PDF file and then import it towards AutoCAD or from other programs such as uh, Workstation or Ventlay and other formats also. You can export uh, also your drawing file into different formats, uh, DWF, PDF, DGN, and you can always publish online your uh, drawings, uh, email it, transmit it to electronic transmittals, etc. And of course, you can always uh, print or plot your drawings. And lastly, under uh, application menu we have drawing utilities we already covered units and reminders again don't forget rule 2 of our class to always check the units of your uh, open new drawings and another important feature here in the drawing utilities is the purge okay you can clean or remove unused name items such as block definitions and layers but be careful in using this for example, you want to create a new layer and then you have not assigned that yet to any uh, of your objects. And when you perform purge, that layer will be removed. Okay? So, do this with uh, care. Okay? We can always recover uh, corrupted drawing files and uh, other uh, features can also be found under utilities. Now, you may notice that once I hover my cursor over the any icon of AutoCAD, a uh, tooltip will pop up. 
Okay? So, currently, it indicates that this is a tool for to maintain the drawing. So, when once I hover to save, it will show the shortcut or the name of the icon. Okay? So, that's around 1 second as you can see in the options. So, this is control N. Mm, sometimes it lags, okay? Especially that if you have a uh, older system. So, my laptop is a 10-year-old. So, it takes time to show the pop-up. But this is control N. Uh, control O for open. Control S, of course. Control Shift S. So, press Control plus Shift plus S. But it doesn't show in my laptop because it lags. Maybe in your uh, systems, it's uh, faster. So, you can immediately see the pop-up or tooltip in a second. Okay? Uh, one second, you over it, uh, the tooltip will come out. And then, of course, Control P for plot. And again, my laptop is lagging. That's why it doesn't show the uh, tooltip. So that's it for the um, application menu. You can also access here the options that you can access through right-clicking in your drawing area. So let's click on options and check the uh, tooltips. On display so currently the tooltip will show at uh, exactly one second upon hovering your mouse to the uh, icon and a second uh, pop-up tooltip will also or extended tooltip will show after two seconds so let's try that to uh, other icons later on on the interface after the application button, we have the quick toolbars, okay? So, quick new, uh, quick open, quick save, uh, save as, plot, and undo. And of course, redo if you have uh, initiated a command. And then, you can extend uh, that uh, toolbar. You can add uh, additional icons, but uh, just leave them as is. They're all already good, okay? So, these quick access toolbars can also be accessed here in the application menu. Once I click this one, it's a quick uh, access to the new crea creating drawing. So, these are just the same when you click in these icons, not on this pane. Okay? So, once you click these icons, it will become a uh, quick access toolbar uh, icons. Just the same here. So, you can always click here to open new drawing, uh, create new drawing. I mean, open existing drawing, open or create new drawings, uh, quickly save your drawings uh, uh, on the same location, on the same file name and file type. Save as, you are saving it to a different file name if you want to save it to a different location or different file type. And then, of course, plot. And in this part, we have here the information center where you can type your queries and AutoCAD will uh, gladly comply. Okay? So, we have the information center. Just delete that and close the help. Uh, you can search for anything related to architecture or I mean AutoCAD in this uh, information center. You can also sign into your accounts if you have uh, registered your uh account onto the Autodesk 360. You can also connect to the Autodesk online community if you are into forums. And of course, this is the help section. You click on that and then you can click help. Again, I repeat, if you have intermittent uh, internet connections, please download the offline help. And in the right corner, we have the standard buttons for minimize, maximize, and Close. This will close the program. This is different uh, standard toolbars to the toolbars here. These toolbars on the upper part are standard tool uh, 
standard buttons for the whole program. So, when I minimize it, it will minimize the whole program. When I close it, it will close the whole program. So, I don't want to close it first. So, this one, this minimize, maximize, and uh, close button are for the file drawing that you are uh, currently open. So, once I minimize it, there, it only minimizes the drawing file, not the program. Okay? So, I'll just maximize it again. It's here. I will uh, try to maximize it or restore. Then, maximize it to the uh, to fit to the drawing area or to the whole extent of the program. So again, minimizing this one will only minimize your drawing file. And currently, we have both drawing one and the startup tab. So I maximize the startup tab. So click on the maximize in there. Unfortunately, this is, uh, I don't know if it, it was resolved to other uh, versions, but I cannot minimize it here, the uh, start tab. Okay, so I'll go back to application menu and use this feature. Okay, make sure that you are in open documents. So currently, we have an open document, the drawing one. Okay, so you can click again on drawing one to maximize that uh, file drawing. And extending our discussion of the drawing area. Again, this is our drawing area, the wide black uh, space. On the upper right, we have here the uh, in canvas viewport controls. Okay, so in canvas viewport controls. And you can change the view. Okay, you can change the view of this by clicking on the second uh, bracket currently you're on top view and that's what we want okay we draw plan view don't use bottom left right front back okay or else there will be complications when you uh, transfer it to uh, 3d or it will be open to other uh, versions or other programs or you try to copy your drawing here and then paste it to another drawing file uh, you will have some issues regarding it so maintain it to the top you can also use uh, southeast uh, isometric for isometric drawings so let's see so it turns the work workspace into a 3d environment but uh, for our class we'll only be uh, using the top view because we will be on a two-dimensional drawing and uh, the third bracket here pertains to the uh, visual style okay, of the draw work area or the drawing area. But of course, these are more uh, suited for 3D drafting. And again, we are in 2D, so leave it to 2D wireframe. This one is also could be found in this view cube. Okay? This is the view cube, so currently we are in top view. We, we can change it and front etc we can uh, rotate the view cube but again i repeat we should always be on the top view this is the uh, navigation bar but i have my mouse so i'll just uh, just leave it there as a uh, decoration okay and uh, going down this one is where we input our command it's for example line so type l for line so l is the shortcut for line so l and then enter it will invoke autocad to do a line command so it will prompt you it will ask you to specify first point and then uh watch again what uh, it's written there or read again what's written on the command line specify next point or undo no just uh, continue continue and then it will add other functionalities there or options. Let's specify next point or do you want to close or undo? And then let's uh, choose close. Let, let's click on close. 
and there you finish your geometry. I don't have to put my cursor here in order to input a command. Okay, uh, let's for example, I'm already working on something here, and my cursor uh, or crosshair is into its default, wherein no active commands are existing. I could just type the uh, command that I want. Let's for example, line again. I'll just type L on my keyboard without uh, placing my cursor towards the uh, command line. Okay? So, I'll just type L. And there, you have there a dynamic input. Okay? So, it uh, replicates what's, uh, what shall be written in the command line. So, this is a dynamic input. So, L, enter. But again, you would notice that AutoCAD communicates with you through the command line and through this dynamic input. Okay? But of course, uh, the, the dynamic input is limited. It cannot fit what it could be fitted on the command line. So from time to time, always check the command line. Okay? If you are uh, having uh, troubles or problems executing a command, always check the command line. Sometimes, uh, AutoCAD is prompting you something which you are not addressing. And you cannot execute the command because you don't comply with what the command line is prompting you to do. Is that clear? So, just like uh, the eyes of people, okay? It's where we can see the soul of uh, a person. So, we can see the soul also of AutoCAD through the command line.